Right then, lads, I am here once again with another random race I did um, the other night in preparation for Mexico. The five lights are on, they're out, and we're underway. Uh, we're starting from P6, driving with Charles Leclerc again. Our teammate Sebastian Vettel was on pole. This is 25% race around Mexico. Um, we're three abreast with the with the Red Bull there on the run down to turn one. Um, one of the Mercedes there giving us a good old squeeze. I believe that's Valtteri Bottas. Vettel's dropping back. We've squeezed through Hamilton's round. Not my finest moment, but we got no warning, I don't think, for it. But we take the lead from P6 on the grid of the Mexican Grand Prix. I need to turn my fan on because this is fucking warm as hell in here. Um, but uh, we are in first. Our teammate Sebastian Vettel is in second. I did this as randomly. Just prepare for... The, uh, for doing the Mexico My Team Season 2 My Team episode. Haven't done, haven't raced on this track since Season 1, really. Um, which is why I um, why I did this race. And it was an absolute banger. Um, yes, like before, like the USA one I did. It was a banger. We're once again driving as Leclerc. Um, honestly, I need to start doing more random races. We get so much action in them. It's insane. But the only difference is this time, it's a 25% race, not a 5-lapper. So we head on now through the stadium section. Here are the cheers from the crowd as the cars line through the <coughs> stadium section. Jesus Christ, pardon me, Jesus. Um, and we come round the final corner, back onto the start finish straight here. Vettel's dropped back a little bit as Albon is on his tail. And I believe it's Valtteri Bottas is, um, is behind him, uh, right on his tail and pulling out to the, in to the outside rather. To have a go into turn one. I was about to say two, but no, it was a long straight here in Mexico. Albon on the outside trying to go for a move to get up into second place in this race. Vettel looking a little bit slow. Bottas is right there on his tail. Is he going to try and go three wide or maybe follow Albon through on this move? Maybe Albon is got a bit of a half a car length ahead. They're still wheel to wheel. Um, through heading to the double right hand or here hairpin type thing. Albon is through. Now Bottas will have a go into the twisty S section here at the end of sector two, start of sector three kind of area. And, um, <clears throat> and there is a racing point right behind, I believe that's Lance Stroll in the racing point right behind Vettel. There's four abreast. It's four abreast down towards the stadium section. Lock up from Stroll. Ricardo was there three wide in the stadium section. With Verstappen, Stroll and Vettel. Oh my good God. Stroll and Vettel go through. Drop Sebastian behind. He is Daniel Ricardo for company. It's now looking like it's going to be a drag race between Lance Stroll and Max Verstappen down the start finish straight. What else is going to happen? This is in. This is all kicking off here. The start of lap three. Ricardo's alongside Vettel. Sainz is alongside. Is uh, overtaking, I believe, an AlphaTauri. I think. Um, no, it was Kevin Magnussen. My God, he's high up the order. But Vettel overtaken by Danny Rick. Um, uh, Carlos Sainz now putting Vettel under pressure for stabbing ahead of Stroll there as well. Um, but. And K-Mag is looking to get involved. Signs are through. Magnussen's getting involved. Tell what the hell's happening here? Magnussen is now fighting Vettel for 8th place. What a... This is insane. Vettel started from pole. We're on lap 3 here. He's now down to fighting for 8th place. Well, we're stretching away up in 1st. Um, I believe Albon's in 2nd. Bottas in 3rd. Perez, maybe looking a little bit racy. Like, you might want to get involved there. The home favourite. Uh, the Mexican driver on the grid, Vettel, has defended his position. Um, Perez is all over the back of K-Mag. Will he maybe try to get involved? Um, Norris is looking a bit racy as well. No moves happening there. Big lockup from uh, George Russell, maybe? In the Williams, Hamilton is still down the order, back of the pack. Um, meanwhile, with us, back up front, um, we have got Alex Albon troubles here. I would give him a bit of a squeeze, not my finest smooth. Uh, to be honest, I was a little bit pissed off with him at this point. Why, I don't know. But we give him a big old squeeze there. Right, swoop back around the outside. Squeeze him on the apex. And we keep the position. We got no pet. We got no warnings for it though, so whatever. Uh, still not my finest move, to be fairly honest. Uh, but anyway, he is DRS down the straight. Will he go for a move? He's definitely looking at it. He definitely had a look down the inside, but we squeeze him on the inside. And meanwhile, back here, hello, what's been going on there? Looks like there's been something happening here. Hello, Norris and Vettel, wheel to wheel. This is what's been happening. 
Um, Ke um, Sergio Perez going for it on Kevin Magnuson there. And Sebastian Vettel. Kevin Magnuson getting involved with Vettel. There's more switcheroos happening in the background. We'll come back to that in a second. K-Mag now fighting Vettel for what is ninth now. As Perez is through. Norris is right in the background there. Ocon in the background. What is happening here? K-Mag through. Norris trying to follow the Dane through. Can he do it? Can the Brit get ahead of the German? He is falling down the order. Now battling for 10th place. He is absolutely is having a dreadful race of falling back down the order. Maybe that's the, that's the SF1000 for you though. That's the car. Um... Came back very comfortably through, as I said. Norris is through. Is he, though? Is he, though? Vettel coming back at him. Can Vettel get back ahead? Looking like a bit of a drag race. Vettel's in front. Norris coming back at him, though. Who's going to have the arrest? There's a bit of a side-by-side -side there. Alcon's getting involved. Um, Kvyat, I think that is. Looking like he wants to get involved. Vettel just lost out. Uh, to Alcon there as well. And this is what's been happening back here. It was um it wasn't an Alpha Tauri. There's um well there's an Alpha Tauri there. I believe that's is that Kvyat? Well it's one of the fucking Alpha Tauris. They're both back there. But that is Danny Kvyat going for it on Roman Grosjean um back there. Hamilton's back there making moves as well. After he got pushed down a little well he's not quite making moves yet, but he's right on the back of an Alpha Romeo. Um the Williams there looking racy. I believe that that's Nicholas Latifi. Hamilton going side by side with the other Alfa Romeo. Um, what are the Alphas anyway? I don't know which one. Uh, Gasly, I think that is, is in between. Uh, that is Gasly. Uh, Antonio Giovinazzi is the car that's side by side with Hamilton. Um, the Williams is ahead of the Haas. What's going to happen here with Hamilton and the Alphas? Hamilton is ahead of the Alfa Romeos. Okay, this is it. That all kicked off at once. I swear to absolute god, and that's why I'm doing this. Um, Alpha Tari looking a bit racy there in the back. Uh, not quite going for anything there though. Um, but we have a bit of a train of cars here, and meanwhile, further up the road with us, we still have Alex Albon troubles here on the main straight, and we might have Valtteri Bottas problems as well. Albon has a great run with DRS Bottas. Maybe look at it, maybe follow up, get involved as well, but not quite going for it. We swoop around the outside again, get P1 back, we defend our position. Um, yes, a, a lot of my thing is, I'm not used to the battery. The energy drains so, so quickly in, in, in this, compared to my team, as Bottas is going for it on Albon, down into turn four, not quite managing it, though. Albon having a little look at the, around the outside of us, there, the, whatever turn that is. We keep the position, um, Stroll and Ricardo wheel to wheel behind us a bit. Um, I believe Ricardo was behind Stroll, so what's gonna happen here is the Stroll is ahead! The pink Mercedes is ahead of the Renault. Um, uh, meanwhile further down the field, nothing, oh I say nothing happening, Vettel is under pressure from Danny Kvyat now! Uh, he is falling down the order. To no end. Absolutely no end. This has been crazy. This race has been actually insane. It's been insanity. Um, as we head on board with ourselves here. This, again, I should mention, like the Colter race, I wasn't recording my onboard during the race. So I, I pressed record at the end, so I could capture the end of race cutscene. You can see our red light flashing. We do not have much battery left, neither does Albon, to be fair. We have none. We have, like, no battery, but we defend our position. We keep P1, Jesus, pardon me. Bottas right in the background there. I'm looking like, he's looking a bit racy. Like, he might want to get involved in this little tussle here. Um, will he go for move on Alex Albon? No, he won't. Um, on this occasion... He's in a bit of a Red Bull sandwich. He's Max Verstappen behind him. Noah, Sainz and Ricardo now going wheel to wheel. Uh, the Sainz has got past Perez, it looks like. Or whatever racing point that is. Stroll, I think, even. Um, can Sainz get ahead of Danny Rick? Uh, the man who replaced him at, Re at McLaren this year in real life. Um, no, he cannot. But he's definitely ahead of uh, Lance, of whatever racing point that is. Yeah, but Vettel actually with some room to breathe. Hamilton about to put an Alpha Tauri under some pressure. And down the field, everything is as is. Um, and we actually have a calm moment in this race for once. 
for once, it makes a nice change to have a nice calm moment in this race as we head on to whatever lap this is. I don't, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, might be lap seven or something like that. Uh, the, I don't think we're going to be under pressure from Albon too much. He might be under pressure from Valtteri. Bottas is going for a late move. Late lunge from the Finn into turn one. Can he secure the move into turn two and three? He can. He is up into second place in this race. He started on the first or second row. I can't really remember. I, all I know is that we started on the third row in sixth. Vettel was on pole. Um, Verstappen was looking a bit racy there um, against his teammate. Um, if there's such a thing as team orders in this game, he might be asking to let be let past um, Albon there. Um, but of course, there's no team orders in this game, as far as I can see. It would be nice. Um, there's a McLaren. I believe that's Norris and Kevin Magnussen wheel to wheel now. Uh, there's a Mercedes there in the background that's gone ahead of Vettel. Hamilton got ahead of Vettel there, you can see. So he's fallen back more. Further back, there's an Alfa Romeo and a Williams wheel to wheel. Is that Latifi? That is... Nicholas Latifi and Antonio Giovinazzi, I believe. Um, who were wheel to wheel there. Meanwhile, back up front, we have now a Valtteri Bottas right on our tail as we head on to... Well, we round the final corner to start uh, lap eight, I think. I might be wrong. All I know is that we're pitting soon. Um, on the start, finish three. Is Bottas going to pull out for a move? Yes, he is. He's going to pull out for a move. Um, I look, looked like a bit side-by-side -side action with the Red Bulls there. We have little energy. Bottas sailed past us. Maybe tried to have a little look to get it back in the thing. I'm uh, going for it into turn two. Can we get it back? We can get it back. But Bottas, not too far behind us. We got the position back. The Red Bulls, um, that is Max Verstappen now, going wheel to wheel with Valtteri Bottas. Um, he is through a bit of a t contact, and there goes the Verstappen's end play of his front wing. He is damaged now. Uh, Verstappen's trying to get a move for second. He is through. Um, yes, he is Verstappen now up to second. Albin down to fourth. Bottas down to. Uh, down to Bottas down to third. And meanwhile, down the field, is there a bit side by side action? Yes, there is. Alpha Terry's and a half. Looks like they were going wheel to wheel. There's a half now in an Alpha Terry sandwich further down the field. And now there's the checkerboard of um, Alpha Terry, of uh, Alpha Romeo's, and Williams is back there. There's Gasly back there as well. Um, no, he's looking a bit racy there on against the Haas, I, I would say. Um, as we head back further up the field with ourselves, with now Verstappen behind us with damage. Um, Verstappen may have damage, but he is still incredibly pacey. Let me freaking tell you that one. Because um, I think he might have a little bit more energy than, uh, than we do. And here he is looking for a move down the inside as his teammate has quite a few times. We swoop around the outside of him like we do, like we've done on Albon. And we keep our position up and first in this race. Um, I believe we will be pitting in at the end of this lap. I may be mistaken. Please forgive me if I am. Um, but we should be pitting in at the end of this lap to go on to the medium compound attire to go to the end of the race. 25% race. So we do have a pit stop to do. Um, but all should be well. And the end. Further down the field. Everyone slotting in. Not much action happening. As everyone slots in, there's a Renault right in the back. That is um, Ocon, who has already pitted, it looks like. There is a uh, Haas. Is that Kevin Magnussen and a Haas have pitted? Meanwhile, Verstappen's having a look at us down the outside, into the, heading into the stadium section. He doesn't quite get it. Um, we defend our position, and we will be getting rid of these tyres here at the end of this lap. As we round the final corner to head into the pit lane now. We head into the pit lane. Verstappen continues on. There goes the ballard. Um, I believe Albon's in the pits as well. There's a Red Bull in the pits. Bottas is in the pits as well. You can see the Mercedes guys coming out. We're holding a front wing, might I say. We get held a bit uh, because of traffic there, you can see. But Bottas is having a wing change for whatever reason. But we got held a bit. Um, so Bottas has lost out. We now have a racing point behind us of, uh, I believe, Sergio Perez. He is now behind us. Uh, Stroll uh, is up ahead. He has not pitted yet. Verstappen's yet to pit. Um, and he is damaged, so his stop will be slow. Perez, a bit pacey out of the box there. Also on the medium tire as we slot back into a definitely points paying position. There is 
I believe yellow flags up here. Yes, there is. There's yellow flags here. You can see a car on the side there, a red car. That's Vettel, our teammate, is out of the Grand Prix with a mechanical issue. Perez looking a bit pacey. Having a look to the inside there, but not in the end, in the end not going for anything. And we are, well, there's still people out there. Verstappen still out there. We're attempting the, attempting the undercut on him, uh, which will be very easy because he still has to pee well. He has wing damage. So that will have knocked around a bit of his pace. And it'll be a slow stop. There's Lance Stroll who still has to pit in second. And McLaren in third. Hamilton in fourth. He still has to pit. Um, and Alfa Romeo, a Williams. Uh, yes. We, I believe that's Latifi in the Williams, by the way. <clears throat> the Alfa Romeo, I think it's Antonio Giovinazzi. I could be wrong, though. Uh, so we head down towards the stadium section once again. Perez on our tail. The home, the home crowd will no doubt be cheering him on, hoping he can overtake. Um, and get up a position as we run on to the start finish three people are in the box everyone ahead of us has pitted so now this is a race to try and get back into the lead of this race that up there is Lance Stroll he has come out of nowhere and overcut us where the hell did this man even come from he now leads the Mexican Grand Prix he leads the Mexican Grand Prix and Albin, I can tell you at this point, is out with a mechanical issue. You can see their virtual safety car is out. Because Albin has retired with a mechanical failure. Um, so he is now out of this race. We have a virtual safety car right now. And uh, to be honest, a lot of people will probably be wishing that didn't come at least a tiny touch earlier. Um, but we are now in a racing white sandwich. Uh, Perez in third. Science in fourth, Ricardo Hamilton is up in sixth. He's really gained from this in up to sixth place now, you know. Uh, he has been a big, big gainer. Ocon is seventh, Norris eighth, Verstappen down in ninth, Bottas tenth. They've really lost out. Um, then we have Magnussen in 11th there. Uh, Magnussen um, down in 11th there. Kvyat in 12th, Gasly in 13th, Gio 14th. Um, Raikkonen 15th, 16th is Latifi, 17th Russell, 18th Roman Grosjean, and there is Lance Stroll, the race leader. I can't believe I had to go through all that without fucking up any names, but we're back to green flag, green flag running here. Stroll is bolted. We have lost a little bit of time, but he is, he came out of nowhere for that undercut, might I add. Hamilton looking a little bit pacey back there against the Renault. Is he going to pull out for a move? Ah, uh, he did think about it, it looks like, but he didn't quite go for it yet. And you can see there's a bit of a massive gap back there. Uh, to like 11 and down, there's a massive gap back here. Um, but such is that can happen in Formula 1, gaps do come out, um, in race- in the races. And, you know, normally that means Mercedes winning by about 20 seconds. Um, or, or Verstappen. Or Verstappen, he won Emila by 20 seconds. His first top five, his first, like, top four finish in Italy. Um, but anyway, moving on, we are currently just trying to catch up to the racing point of Lance Stroll, who has bolted. He came out, I did not expect him to get to do that overcut. He just, like, he's come out of nowhere. Absolute nowhere. Where was he? He was in, like, P5, P6. How, where did he even come from? Before I pitted, I couldn't even see him on the timing sheet. On like the, you see one to five on the timing sheet at the side on your on when you're doing the race. I didn't see him on there. But there he is, up leading now. Where did he even come from in this race? I, I do not know where he came from in this race. But all I know is that he is up in the lead. Um, and Hamilton, it's a little far back from Ocon this time around. Ricardo even this time around. Sorry about that. Uh, not quite going for a move. He's doing a great recovery drive. It must be said. To be P6 right now after going down to last on lap one. Bloody good from him. Um, you know, Perez did it. Did last to first um, in Sakira last year. Maybe Hamilton can do last to first in Mexico. Um, but either way, this has been a bit of a mad race. And it's nice that things are kind of calming down here a little bit. Uh, for a change, for once. Um, we can actually take a moment and breathe and just look at what's happening. As uh, through the S section we come driving as Charles Leclerc. As we did it, it's kind of it's kind of my default. Just drive a Ferrari, pick Leclerc. You know, when the new game comes out, maybe I might choose science sometimes. You never know. Um, but here we are. 
in Mexico doing a 25% race driving as Charles Leclerc. And I did this race um, as a way to kind of try and get used to the track again, to remember the track, ahead of doing the Mexico episode of my team career mode um, for season two. Because I haven't really driven this track since season one. Um, so that's what we got going on. We have Hamilton going for a move on Ocon there. Uh, uh, Sainz going for a move on on Perez there. He's now up into third. Hamilton's up into fifth. Um, it's all kicked off there for a wee moment. Um, two overtakes. The start is finished straight. Seems to be fun. It seems like any part of this track is fantastic for overtaking. Um, Perez does not have DRS. Hamilton does. He's going for a move down into turn four. Um, can he get this move completed on the inside line? Well, the inside for the double right-hander hairpin part here. He is through and up into fourth place. What a what a fantastic drive from him. What a what a performance from the Brit. He is absolutely coming back in this race. Um, as yes, the back markers are still the back markers. And still back there. Um, but yes, we've been no, honestly, it's been, wh why don't I get this in my team? Why, that's what I want to know. Why don't I get this in my team? Honestly, that's what I want to know, game. Why? Where is this kind of racing in my team? The AI just going absolutely crazy. And just, like making contact, getting wing damage. You know, we had a Geo in the Circuit of the Americas episode, um, episode of my team. He got wing damage. Um, when I believe when... Albon was coming out of the pits um, at turn one. And here is Perez under pressure from Daniel Ricciardo. Ricciardo's through. Um, but yes, why don't I get this in my team? Uh, the Mexico episode of my team will be out by now, by the way. Um, it should have gone up yesterday. So go check that out. Um, I don't know how it went because I haven't even done the race yet. It's the 30th of April right now. It's not May yet. Uh, but either way, we are here for a 25% random race that I did. Because, why not, honestly? Though we get a bit of a screen freeze there for good measure. Um, because of course we did. Because F1 game, because even in the replay cams it loves to screen freeze on me. Let me tell you that right now. As I get mixed up with the, with the cameras. And you can see, we can just about see Stroll there. He, there he was, going through the 90 degree right hander. There is a big gap, there's like a two and a half second gap or something like that to stroll. He has walked away. Absolutely walked away with this. My god. Honestly, where did he even come from in this race? It was cr I have no idea where he's come from, but the crowd are going crazy. Um, Science does have DRS. Hamilton has a fantastic run, though. Must be said, he's not close enough to go for something just yet. As Stroll tries, Science tries to move on us there. Uh, these two, Leclerc and Science, teammates now in real life, um, at, down at Ferrari. But uh, Science has come off second best to that. Um, he now still has DRS, but he's Hamilton right on his tail. And, uh, well, back here, Ocon going for a move on Paris, who's just tumbling down the order. Um, he is, is, does he have wing damage? I think he might have wing damage. He does! Stroll, Perez has wing damage! I didn't notice this when I was recording this replay cam. I, I didn't notice this Stro that Perez had re uh, damage. My god! I did not know that. Jesus Christ. Jeez, you know, I should do this kind of thing for my team, just to fully in the replay cam. I should just do that, honestly. That would be crazy. That would be... It would be easier for editing purposes. But that's just me being a bit lazy, to be honest. A uh, nice little cockpit cams there from the two Renault drivers. Um, as we continue on in this race, I'm not entirely sure what lap this is. Uh, but Hamilton, with a fantastic run out of the final corner... He is all over the back of Carlos Sainz and pulling out for a move. He breezes past um, the Spaniard, I nearly said Mexican. Um, he breezes past and up into the podium positions after starting, I believe, second. He's now up to third again after being last on after the first corner. You know, at the end, uh, but turn two, he Hamilton was last. Uh, no thanks to ourselves, but we got no damage. Nor did we get any warnings for it. 
Um, but speaking of said Brit, he is all over the back of us because I don't always get the best run there through that through the uh, sector there, beginning of sector two. As we now head on down through the S section, we also do not tend to get the greatest of runs. Um, I believe I spun there in my team in season in season one. I um, mean qualifying as well. My God. Um, but there is Perez under pressure from Verstappen. Uh, pardon me, his um, real-life current teammate. Is he going to pull out for a move? And not yet, I don't think. Perez locks up, though. Looks like a lock-up behind from McLaren. As uh, a back of the road, ha will Hamilton try to go for something? He very well might. Because my battery is not in a very good state right now. Um, yes. We do not have DRS. He has DRS wide open. Uh, we have no energy left as Hamilton pulls to the inside and breezes past us. Um... On the start finish straight, we lock up into turn one. We've a little looks to the inside of turn two to maybe go for something to get the position back. We just can't. Our battery is not in a good state. Deploying a bit of VRS there, but there's really nothing left. We're also low on fuel as well as Ocon. I'm going for a move on Par oh, Perez, putting Ocon under pressure rather. Um, there is Norris looking a bit pacey. Um, Verstappen looking pacey, going past, trying to get past Ocon there. Um, can he get the move done? Yes, he can, I think. Yes, he did. Verstappen up a place. He is up to eighth, I think. Um, as further up the field, this man here is the last lap. Lance Stroll has come out of absolutely nowhere for... My god, where did he even come from in this race? I do not know. Where did he start? That is my question. As he rounds the final corner and he will come back onto the start finish straight to win the Mexican Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton finishes second. We finish third driving as Leclerc. Fourth will go to Carlos Sainz in the McLaren. Fifth, Daniel Ricciardo. Sixth, the home favourite Sergio Perez will come across the line um, for sixth. Seventh, um, Max Verstappen 8th, Alcon 9th, Norris, and only 10th for Valtteri Bottas, and then it went to this! And I was curious, what the hell is this? It looked like the parked up at Park Farm, eh? So, I had a look, and they could know this might be a good, th thought of the good thumbnail opportunity. Nope! Where's the nose cones gone? Where the hell have the nose cones actually gone to? I do not know where they've gone to. This was so fucking weird. If you follow me on Twitter, you may have already seen this photo because I shared it on there. It's like, okay then, I, I guess we just don't need nose cones then. Um, but, yes, the Racing Point team will be very happy as Lance Stroll has come out of absolutely nowhere for that win, but... That has been a 25% race around whatever the hell this, the track in Mexico is called. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, share, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff. I'm going to do these more, I swear. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.